admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Eivor? A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor! I was robbed! On the road between here and Lincoln! By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means Battlebone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I have ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with I want you to know.
Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the world. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? If all were spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Would they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family, even. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. So, what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love... was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So, what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gotham, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I oh, know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Oriol is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camp not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. This isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. <laughs> but I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I'll find Will's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, I'll be pretty. Many may die. 
I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Abel. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. You must be careful now. All right. Wait here. And stay out of sight. everything. I'll return to Tarbin. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you often did with wealth and your family of marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. Oh, they have returned! We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in, and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm, because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. You think Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed? She's a kind enough woman. And she has faced greater danger than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger?
caught my attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. You have an empathy. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. The curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarben, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. I know a few things about love. Do you? Or did you hear the chime of my coin purse? Does it matter? No. Not when the village children pelt my door with vegetables, call me old maid and witch. You need someone to protect you from children. Leave your scorn. There is a man. We have been secretly betrothed for years, but his father refuses our union. So you will kidnap him and make it look good. His house is near here, surrounded by red flowers. Oh, wait. I will kidnap him? You will know my love by his red hair. And try not to kill his father. That will put a damper on our happy day. I will roast him a fat hen. Or a stew. Would he like that? Surrounded by red flowers. This must be her love's house. From your love. Who are you? That's the spirit. Let us make your father believe the fiction. Wait, what? What is this? I, the dread viking Eivor, have come to steal your sons. of the act. My love, all will be well. Well, wait, so this boy is your lover, or no? He will be. 
I have watched him for many turns of the sun. And now he will know of my burning love. Thanks to you. You watched me? That is so strange and unnatural. Romantic. That you would go to such lengths to win my heart. It touches me in places I cannot speak of. You have my thanks, Dane. Take your reward and leave us. Allow me, soft one. Side the weeds from my field. Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! Our brothers and sisters have churned the very soil of this sacred land. No more, sir. You're going back north where you belong. We will rid England of your kind for good. Wait. Bring him I have to listen to your babbling as well. <sighs> I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him. That is a start. Farewell. I can breathe again. You're all right. What happened to you, stranger? Burke, the man I work for, he did this to me, that evil man. I was simply doing a round of checks on our last shipment when he accused me of theft. Me! Theft! Please, bring me up to the bridge. I need some treatment, some medicine. Chad, 
about time you showed your face. What is left of it? Buck? No, no, no. Get away from me. Come along, Chad. We still have work to do. Work? You still want me to work? I can't even see my own hands, you heartless bastard. He says you blinded him. Aye, that I did. What is a leader to do when his man can't take their eyes off his treasure, even after several warnings? I... I was not looking! You stabbed my eyes out! Quiet now, Chad. Come, hand him over to me. Do your best to follow me, Chad. Just kill me instead! Where are these toy goats, child? I keep them safe elsewhere. My sister and I made them, and they are the finest in the land. I'm not sure about being the finest, but I do love them, every one. <laughs> if you have one in the likeness of Tankristnir, I will take it. Wow, thank you. I did it, sis. I sold one, I did it. Well, what about my goat? Where are you going? Sister. <sighs> this is your sister. We made the goats together, but the cold took her last winter. I promised her I would continue selling our goats. She said they can bring warmth into the hearts of others. Here, it's yours. I hope it will keep you warm on your travels. Goodbye, nice stranger. You are, there are plenty of woolly, fluffy goats to keep you warm. Rest, spirit. The legacy lives on with your sister. Are you going to enter the water or not? No. That man old. needs a push, or a good scare. Baptized the bigger business movie. Mm. One does not receive the Holy Spirit under the watchful eye of God simply to improve trade. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. My sincere apologies. There you go. Gold! Gold! The ice waves are taking me! Uh, uh, save! Uh, oh. Hey! This is not so bad! Good God, at last! I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit within us all. You are now a child of God. Is this it? it is. Go forth and walk his... Thank you for getting that man into the water. We had been waiting for too long, but we are patient. Anyone keen on the teachings of our Lord is welcome. Perhaps... No. I will not stand for it! Rob me of my co- What is this about God and pies? Someone stole my pie, and I, a skilled sniffer, am going to weed that pie thief out! All for a piece of pie. It is no ordinary pie. My pies top any other pies, and the blasted pie thief knows it! Oh, the smell! Oh, the smell! The thief went down this road! Come out, thief! I know you're here. I can smell my pie. The thief should not be far. Oh, I will find that mm, fragrant of melted butter. Comforting. Oh. Aha! The thief came by. I am on the trail. 
My pie is near. My nose does not lie. Come out, thief! Boy, sweetness of berries. I smell it. Oh, the thief must be near now. I recognize my pies are lured to any nose. Come out, come out. Mm, the aroma of a pastry baked just right. The thief is near. I think this is just the right amount. Ah. Caught, scoundrel. Now, give my delicious pie back. Delicious? Your pie was blander than my late father's face. What did you put in my pie? <gasps> the smell, this aroma. It's never produced such an effect before. I added some honey. It'll enhance the berries by a bit. Good God. It does enhance the sweet smell. This is remarkable. Unheard of. A miracle. It seems like this child could make an extraordinary baker, and Jorvik could use one less thief. <sighs> well, it does smell spectacular. You have a keen sense for the culinary arts, child. You want a job? God's piss of luck! Thank you so much, you won't regret it! I have so many ideas! <clears throat> Stop stealing the pies. Oh, thank you for your help. Come by my stall, should you have a craving for pie. Heroes are plenty, warriors are yeah. many, but most walk about with heads to their head. Greetings, Bart. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your faith and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bart. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are Bart stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the hot skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kiss. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the hot skies. Succumb to your fate with a... Stop! There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me. Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The withering is taking them, but I do not wish to abandon them. The withering? A disease that often goes unnoticed until it is too late. The whole village had it. It destroys the mind and heightens aggression in an individual. And ultimately, the poor soul is rendered catatonic. Leave here, child. Your family will soon go, and this village has nothing for you. But, Papa! Mama! They will find peace and death. Live for them. They would want that. I... 
I... Right. I cannot hold on any longer to what is already lost. I will go. Here, a key, if you want to check on yourself yourself. If I'm to leave, I can't face them again. This town leaves behind a bitter legacy, but such is the way of this world. My head, it swims. Fair. No! A demon. It will not save them, but at least it might ease their suffering. The stench. They've endured much, it seems. of names, ages, all killed by a plague. The withering. <laughs> a lonely end. Luck skipped his turn. Take you back to Newhofen. A tall ask for a corpse. some weight on you. Brother! Brother! <laughs> Brother! You should have listened to me. You have always been too selfish. Reckless. Even Mother said so. Blame not the adventurer. For the pull of blood songs can tempt even the gods. Where do I go now? Without you to guide me, what should I do? Lost. I am lost. Just like breathing, death is a constant. The sooner you learn and accept, the sooner you become stronger. What are you saying? You want me to forget my brother? Not forget, child. No, I don't care about your stories. Thank you for bringing my brother back, but please, go away! Brother! Oh, what would Mother say? Brother, I miss you. Why did you leave oh, us? Word of... And another anomaly. Is that what we're calling them? And another data packet. Should I get it? If it's anything like the last one, absolutely.
You heard. The High Council has stripped the mother of her title by gifting our tormentor her seventh method of salvation. The seventh method? Is it viable? Why were we not told? I've heard whispers and rumors. It seems the seventh requires a human host. A human host? Do you mean rebirth? As one of them? Yes. But it's a small loss for a greater gain. A risk we must be willing to take. Hey, are you two hearing the same voice as I'm hearing? Not sure what you mean. It's all quiet on our end. Damn it. Well, I'm at the second packet. You ready? I'm ready.
play in the woods or down by the river tomorrow. Stools on the hayside are for the woods and the side with the sacks of beans for the river. Pick your seats. No pushing, Bjornsson. I'm watching you. Hey, where are you going? The tall one does not want to play because the tall one is a big baby. Well, this is not good. It's a draw. This has never happened. Hmm. What about the tall one? Can we ask her to help break this tie? Good idea, Froda. Tall one, sit by the hayside if you vote for the woods. For the river, the side with the sacks of beans. The answer is clear. We shall play in the woods tomorrow. Aye. Now, on to the next great matter. <clears throat> We need a name for our merry band. The choices are Raiders of the Cake or the Shadow Dragons. Stools on the hate side are for Raiders of the Cake and side with the sacks of beans for Shadow Dragons. Pick your seats. Tall one, you too. Just in case we end up in a tie again. It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. It is final. From now on, we are the Shadow Dragons. A fitting name for future warriors. Now to our next vote. <clears throat> what should we do if we manage to capture a picked soldier? Stools on the hayside are for beating him up. Side with the sacks of beans for taking him prisoner. Vote! It looks like we are tied. For now, tall one, we need your help once more. Hurry, tall one! We don't have much time left to... The seeds have spoken! We will take the prisoner for questioning! The badge of wisdom shall be awarded to those who voted for this! You too, tall one! Remember, the more you know of your enemy, the better. Do not let any opportunity to learn more of them escape you. Froda, you had better be writing these words of wisdom down! The next generation inspires confidence. Snottinghamshire is in good hands. What is that boy doing all the way up there? Jump, little Jump, Jump, you place. Stop it, you rumpkin! If he falls, God will punish you! Oh, it's high! Why is it so high? If I die, tell her I think only of her! What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me! I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her! A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an... an overripe plum. I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my... uh... uh... loins. Loins, eh? Or I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to. Just so you know. Noggin. What a terrible show! <sighs> Boo! Boo! Oh, saints alive! Did you see that? God sent Esso for an angel! <gasps> Is it over? Did he find no news that easy? You would have done it yourself. 
risk life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Athelflaed, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Noah's holy cattle! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed. It takes more than that. There's holding hands and grunting, and then sometimes praying. Oh, God! Oh, God! King Esselbert the First, the Flea of Winchester. All hail the Lord of the Saxons! Esselbert the Flea! EBM comes. Jewel, I will. I shall whittle in you. I'll wear your guts. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! <laughs> By God's hairy balls, you are a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! I'll wear your guts and a hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damned scoundrel! We have already paid for it! you! By God's hairy balls, you are a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! You! What are you doing in here? I am not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross! Fuck off the both of you! Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed. Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. The jewel is for the king. Here's your money. Now give me the trinket. Oh, gladly. I don't care whether you give it to Cedric or not. He has all the finesse of a mad cow in bloomers. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold, centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? You may have it. But tell your king it will all be mine soon enough. His jewels, his treasures, his city, his throne. What? No, I... God's pearly tooth! Here's payment for you, and we will both forget this meeting. Shepherd and I am... You have not left the church in days. The st what troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true path. You have God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to cease his prattling. 
God is giving me a sign. If only I could see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes. Illuminate me, O oh Lord. Illuminate me. Et dixa ad eos rapscaios Andreas Dominus Nostra. Illuminate my true Lord. For you are the shepherd and Call I am the lamb who follows your lamb. Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. You are the light of the world. So do these rays mean something? Your light falters. Please, do not forsake me. Is the tenebrous fall of darkness my fate? That should do it. His God has spoken to him at last with my divine. My power is clear. I must throw off the shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his... So I have set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does. <laughs> 